Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be discussing similarity proofs. Before we discuss similarity proofs, we first have to talk about corresponding sides of similar triangles. In similar triangles, corresponding sides are in proportion. In a proportion, the cross products are equal. So for example, I have the following proportion. 5 over 3 is equal to 15 over 9. What they mean by the cross products is when you cross multiply. So when you take 5 times 9, multiply that is equal to 3 times 15. So let's take a look at some examples. If we're given the cross products and we have to write the proportion. So this is what I always do. Take the first number, put it on the top, and the 9 has to go on the bottom of the other fraction. Then the 2 has to go on the bottom left, and the 18 goes on top. So when I cross multiply, 4 times 9 is equal to 2 times 18. Let's look at the other example. We have 8 over 4 is equal to 6 over 3, and we have to write the cross products. So again, we're just going to multiply. 8 times 3 is equal to 4 times 6. Let's look at a similarity proof. Given DE is parallel to AC, notice what I have to prove is different. No longer do we have to prove the triangles are similar. It says we have to prove that DB times AC is equal to DE times AB. In order to prove the cross products are equal, we have to first prove that they are in proportion. In order to prove that the sides are in proportion, we first have to prove that the triangles are similar. So we do have to prove similarity first, then proportions, then cross products. So let's complete the proof. So again, write our given first. DE is parallel to AC, that's given. Notice that I have two overlapping triangles. I have triangle ABC, the big triangle, and then I have the smaller triangle DBE. Notice for this, these two overlapping triangles have something in common. They have angle B in common. So that's the reflexive property. Angle B is congruent to angle B. It is shared in both triangles. Now remember, DE is parallel to AC. So here, I have two parallel lines. Notice I have corresponding angles. So I'm going to put a 1 here and a 2 here. I could have also used these. 3 and 4. It doesn't matter which ones you use. Remember, you only need one of them because you just need angle-angle, two pairs of congruent angles. So I'm going to say angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Parallel lines create congruent corresponding angles. I could have, again, also wrote angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. Now, remember, my proof statement, DB congruent to AC, is equal to DE times AB. That's my last statement. Before I can prove that, I have to prove that the sides are in proportion. So, I'm going to take DB put that on the top. Take AC, put that on the bottom. Take DE, put that on the bottom, and AB, put that on the top. And of course, before we can say that the sides are in proportions, we have to first prove that the two triangles are similar. Remember, the only method we can use is angle-angle, 
the corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion. And finally, in a proportion, the cross products are equal. Notice what I have outlined in this red box. These three reasons never change. So you're always going to have angle, angle, it's congruence, angle, angle, corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion, and in a proportion, the cross products are equal. Those definitions will never change. Obviously, the statements, these will change based on a given diagram. But again, those reasons never change. Here again is the summary. So, if you're looking to prove cross products, you first have to prove that the sides are in proportion, and then before you can do that, you first have to prove the similar triangles. So again, in order, similar triangles, sides are in proportions, then cross products. These three reasons never change. Angle, angles, congruent to angle, angle, corresponding sides of similar triangles are in proportion, and in a proportion, the cross products are equal.